Welcome back guys. Today we will be continuing laser and today we will be learning about population inversion and pumping. So let's get started. So uh, we know that from Maxwell Boltzmann law Boltzmann law the number of atoms present in a particular energy state that number of atoms present in a particular energy state that is called as pump population population is given at any time is given by the expression n2 equals to n1 times e to the power minus del e upon kt we can also write this as n1 e to the power minus h mu by kt where del e is e2 minus e1 equals to h mu here we see that n2 is a number of atoms number of atoms per unit volume in higher energy state and n1 is the same in lower energy state so and this is our Maxwell Boltzmann law and we can as we know that E2 will be always greater than E1 so eventually N1 must be less than N2 so now so we need to for laser action to work we need to have more elements in the upper state so to produce so this is important so so let me switch colors so to produce high percentage of stimulated emission for achieving a strong laser beam the number of atoms number of atoms in higher energy state should be larger than the lower one than the lower state so this is the main cause for population inversion this is the main reason why population inversion is used to achieve more number of atoms in the higher state so this is the cause or this is no, this is all this phenomena is also known as this phenomenon is also known as population inversion so now we can say that when population inversion is achieved the emitting photons interact with the atoms and go on multiplication multiplying and they start to yield in large numbers of photon by repeated stimulated emission hence strong coherent beam is obtained so that is our laser so now there is a small definition called lasing so let me define it so let me write in this red color so this is this after achieving population inversion the process leads to the emission of let me write it the process leads to the emission of stimulated photons photons due to the transition of atoms from metastable state to the ground state due to the transition of atoms from metastable state to ground state that is simply 
the process when the atoms move from metastable state to the ground state and emission takes place so this is this is also this is known as the after process is known as lasing so this is lasing now as you know that the process by which the atoms in the lower energy state are raised to the higher energy state by in an active medium that is solid liquid gas to achieve population inversion is known as pumping so that is our pumping and there are three types of or methods of pumping that is number one optical pumping number two electrical pumping and number three we have chemical pumping so let me tell something about this this is just knowledge so here light sources will be used for luminous energy and create populous inversion by optical phenomena or optical photon so light source photons so now electrical pumping here now electrical discharge has to be converted the converters converts the gas medium into plasma and now then it liberates electrons then the electrons are accelerated by using a strong potential field and which collides with the atoms so and gives excited state and which results in pumping and last so here it will be gas medium converts to plasma and just strikes there now chemical pumping here the energy comes from a chemical reaction so we need exothermic reaction so exothermic reaction we need to generate heat exothermic reaction so so in case of co2 laser hydrogen reacts with fluorine and generates enough heat to pump so this is just types of pumping or this is lasing so this was something about population inversion and pumping so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you